Hello everybody and welcome back to Benjamin Magnus Plays Europa Universalis 4. I discovered that Ming are it, Ming has guaranteed my independence. That's happened before. I find that interesting because it happened before and they really didn't do anything about it unless they had revoked it at some point. Um Jean Tour up here is the threat, I, I, I don't, I, I don't fear Ming as much as I fear John Poor. Uh, they've rivaled me, and their coalition is immense. They're allied with the Ottomans, Persia, Malacca, and that's, the, those are the big ones. Disagreeing advisor. Now, we're already in the negative, so. But the Ottomans and Persia, and my, <laughs> the, the Malacca down here, who is... Big old thorn in my side. What I was thinking about doing is declaring war on Brunei. Because they're allied with Malacca. Malacca will join in. That'll give me an excuse to go after Malacca. That was my theory, but I can't do anything until my manpower recovers. And my manpower is low. And honestly, I can't believe how... Having pl been playing a little bit of EU4 off-screen... I can't believe how unlucky I've been with uh, leaders so far, considering this is my, my first, like, really good one. I was playing as a couple other nations, and I did nothing but roll really good leaders, and it was a shot, shot in the arm there. Secrets in our alliance. Ah, it's not a big deal. That's these guys. Not a big deal. I, Ming, I'm finding interesting. Why do they guarantee my independence? Maybe they don't want someone to take uh, a power base in the region by, by knocking me out. I don't know. Uh, let's take, go by total in the field. Ottomans. <sighs> Jesus Christ. Ming, Wanpur, England. Malacca, 53,000. Pegu, 52,000. But, see, that's the, pr the problem is, is the manpower pool. They have way more than me. Way more. It's not good. See, oh, Jesus Christ, 39 mercenaries in the field. That's expensive. How could you afford that? I actually... Can I actually see any decent information about their economy? I think so. See, like, stability, prestige... Economic offensive, diplo, quantity. Oh, there you go, quantity. Hmm. That's... that's intense. Alright. Do, 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 do. We got some... I don't want to spend any of this money because we got loans to repay. Uh, we're over our force limit by two ships, which is not that big of a deal. Uh, where are our fleets? Okay, you are anti-pirate duties. Good. And you're just hanging out. Hanging out, helping over here with my... With my new colony. And then we got our giant fleet of trade ships in... Uh, Malacca, I believe. Yeah. I would love more provincial trade power down here, but I don't know. I don't know how well that's gonna go. Uh, yes, repay that loan. Every loan we replay. Uh, those deceitful scamps. Okay. They're slandering me. Juan poor. Oh. I know it's not, I know it's not Juan, but that's what I'm going with. Juan. God damn it. The power blocks in the region have, uh, have outdone me a little bit. Are you allied with anybody? Independence guaranteed. Uh, truce with nobody. I could kill these guys. Huh. I could do that. I could kill them. So let's do this. Not improve relations. Let's go covert. Build spy network. Confirm. Let's build a spy network. No. Oh no. Go to. That's why we have people there. 
Oh, no, that was the wrong one. Um, well, I think we should be able to take them even with reduced uh, maintenance. Oh, shit. They beat me to it. Oh, I didn't, I didn't, I thought I would get there in time. Whoops. No big deal. We'll take it. Malaka in their, their freaking base of, uh, their alliance base is uh, getting on my nerves. Build cost, good. Yeah, economic is gonna help me out a lot. Let's see, what do we got here? 14, 15, 17, ugh. Well, at least we're at plus 12. Yearly inflation. Oh, what's my inflation like right now? Well, okay. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. I think we might need to save up for a tech cost. Allows Forced March. Everybody else, anybody else remember when Forced March was a, uh... Was in aristocratic ideas, I think? Well, we're taking a, a attrition here. So let's create a second army, and we're gonna go... That's seven... Eight and fifteen, yeah, that's fine. Now let's go one, two... Three? And one, two... Let's do that. Select this unit, and we'll move them off to the side. Cool. Boom. That way we're not taking any attrition for absolutely no reason. Oh, so... Vietnam is my friend, that's good. I mean, they've got 28,000 in the field. And they owe me 40 favors. That's a pretty substantial stack. Oh, poor little Lana. They really got the, the raw end of the deal, haven't they? And these guys, I need, but basically I need any alliance that I can get over in India. I really would have liked to have gotten into India sooner, but it just wasn't going to happen. Claims fabricated, native uprising. Hopefully we'll get there before the month's out. Good. And they're gone. We're gonna try to take out this... Well, we're not allied with him, are we? No. Broke alliance. Because this is a super high development province. If we can... We could probably Diplo Annex him. That's probably gonna be a better idea. Force Vassalize him, then Diplo Annex. That way I don't have to spend my admin points on it. Series of disastrous wars. Have severely eroded my... Uh, expansion potential. I don't think I'm, I'm... I'm gonna... I'm gonna play this out to, to the end. I don't think I'm gonna be able to, uh, get the achievement. But... But it was... It's been really fun, and I might end up trying it again. Recall... I've actually heard, uh... A, a, a way to do it is to try to form the Netherlands. Because Netherlands get, uh... Uh, I think it's like a 25% uh, sailor of modifier for sailors. All right, they they fabricated claims on me. Not exactly unheard of. Where's my? I got that last loan on here. There we go. There we go. At least I got those loans out from under me. It's just, it takes ten years, I think, to fully recover your manpower pool rough. Diplomat, he's working on that. Ming. 82, let's improve our relations there, make sure they're high. I mean, if somebody declared war on me and Ming got involved, they'd be fucked. But, Wanpur's strong because that, that swath of area they're in right now, high development. I mean, look at that. 30 development right there. Do I have any... See, where's my highest? Oh, no. 36, actually. Oh, it's over here. Um, Bru well, Brunei is... I see that? 30, that's pretty high. Right, we'll back over here. This one's actually pretty close. I like that. Good. Well, they lost, like, 200 men. 
I'd love to have some more ships. And we're probably gonna have to go for, like, maritime ideas next. Yes, I will accept that. Ming and their rebels. Do they, they must still have the Mandate of Heaven, right? Yeah. They're a plus one, they have the Mandate of Heaven. Better ruler than I No, my ruler's better than that right now. Call. Well, that didn't take long at all. And we can fabricate claims on Ithian land. Angor, that's actually a decent um, development region. 21. Can't fabricate another one? At least 25. Oh, you know what? I bet they have um, an idea that increase. You know, you know, makes it harder. All right, so we'll wait till 25, and then we'll do it again. Come on. Fabricate claim. Might think about Diplo annexing these guys too, just to save on the points. So let's do this. Yeah, that's not a big deal. Let's roll for a military leader and hope for the best. Not great, but I'll take it. Take Prabang. Confirm that. Uh, let's do you here. Why don't you march down this way? Native uprising. I know. Ah, they keep switching on me. You're dead. You head down here, please, and you're gonna siege that. Yeah, I think we'll just force vassalize them because it's. I, I need these points desperately, especially because I'm behind on. I'm behind on uh, tech right now. So, so <laughs> spending that right now is probably not the best idea. Yearly inflation. I'm. Sp I have um, unbalanced research, which is costing me mon money. Not a lot. Slightly below average air there. I call average 333. That's what it is in my mind, at least. And they were so powerful for so long. Harmful trade policies. Trade efficiency. I like that. Okay, that one's done. Then we'll do this one. Don't necessarily need anybody else over there. How much is the tech gonna cost me? Oh god. 882. Spices, nice. Alright, there we go. So we're going to... Oh, we're gonna go here. Then we're gonna go Pegu Vassal. And how much money do you have? All of your money. Give me it. Okay, that's good. And then what we're going to do is relations. Oh. We'll be able to do that in a few weeks. Prove relations from that. Too many leaders. Do I only have two? It's two too many. Yeah, god damn it. Only have one leader. <laughs> Can you, uh, explore anymore? So, uh, Explorer must be leading. I'm, I wonder if they can. What does the Americas look like? It's already heavily, of course, it's 1667, of course it's heavily, um, heavily colonized. Native assimilation, nice. Uh, now, South Africa. Because this to be a core province. It's a territory that does not cause over... Hmm. That's not a colonial nation. Is it? I don't think you... Okay, well, let's see. No, Africa, Africa doesn't have a colonial zone, I don't think. Geographical? Colonial regions. No. 
They do not. So that's not a thing. I have to worry about it, at least. Oh, and what we could do is... Well, we have a lot of money now. I could definitely do some construction. Production. Is there anything in here that's going to be real good? What trade local goods produced? <whistles> yeah, some of those are pretty high. They're expensive, but like 0 0.48. 0 0.37, 0 0.32, 0 0.32. Yeah, like that. It's definitely going to be worth it. So we'll build those. They, they're going to take forever, but we're going to build them. What is his tech level? 18. That's higher than me. So I just got this one. So send you out. Claims fabricated by Brunei. I'm okay with that. Just, ugh, got that manpower. Oh, you know what? We forgot to do anything about these guys. I can't believe I can only have one. Go over here real quick. Alright, you, who are not super cool. We're going to go no leader, and then we'll just go to military. And this one will kick him, because it's costing us a point. Protect trade. Malacca. There we go. Yeah, controlling the trade in Malacca is a huge percentage of my total income. Yeah, look at that. Uh, rebel faction in one province. Not a big deal. I don't think we're going to have to worry about that. Colonies going al coming along. I'm going to... I think I'm going to force vassalize these guys and then Diplo annex them because... I that's going to cost so much uh, admin points. So many admin points. And I don't have those admin points. <laughs> Not to spend. That'll also get us uh, trade uh, a decent amount of trade power in the Malakas. Um, it's, it's pretty wealthy. Relatively, at least. That'll transfer up to Malacca. And then we'll tra that'll transfer up to... Uh, Bengal. Bengal. Bengal, however you choose to pronounce it. Whichever way I pronounce it, I know it's wrong. Man, they love... Oh, stay home. We don't need them. Uh, the... Well, the aggressiveness is really high over here, so it does make sense. You can definitely see where, where we've gone. We have our, ooh, England. I forgot England had a uh, colony there. I love that we beat England. That just makes me really happy that we actually managed to beat England. That slandered me. That's fine. Ooh, wow. Lose 500, uh, lose 40 ducats, settle error. Yeah, I'll pay 40 ducats for that. I will easily pay for for that. Okay, are any of these any good? We haven't been using them because the points have been so desperate. Trade steering caravan power. Huh. Trade steering I like. Caravan power doesn't do anything for me though. And do I want to spend a point when half of what I'm paying for isn't going to be... Uh, terribly useful for me. Are these guys allied to anybody? No, they're by themselves. So why don't we do this? Go get them. We'll bring them over and then we'll fight this guy. Because it's like 10 years before you could Diplo Annex someone. Powerful monastery. That's fine. Ooh. 
I'm surprised uh, that uh, Vietnam has been able to survive and grow this long. Uh, if everybody recalls, they got beat up a lot early game. Nepal. I love that Nepal has some stuff over here now. I think that's funny. Vijayanagar hate me, allied with Mawar in Nepal. Who's... who's Mawar? I don't even see them. So they don't—they don't have anybody, any allies that I need to really fear. They by themselves are pretty strong, though. So why don't we take a look at the ledger real quick and look at Vijayanagar? Last time I fought them, they were much more powerful than I expected. Thank you, Australia. I love it. Oh, this is not on. Okay, country Vijayanagar. What? 19,000? That's it? That's all they have in the field is 19,000 men. I mean, they've got 58,000 to pull from, but their entire military is 19,000? That's surprising. What's my karma look like? Uh, karma... 20! Okay, so... Why don't we... We'll take that. We'll take it. Uh, buildings. Oof, thousand days to get those trade companies up. Their military is extremely weak. I'm wondering if I go to war with them, if these guys would join me. Mawar. Who's Mawar? Malwa. Mawar, there they are. <laughs> and Nepal will join them. Uh, I could maybe take ne uh, Nepalese North Bengal here. Really? Oh, they have a truce. Vietnam would not join in. Uh, distant war? Yeah. Sunda would not join in. Distant war. Really distant war. So let's look at these guys real quick. I mean, that's 28,000 men right there, and they've got two two-star generals. Is that trade efficiency? Yeah. Take that. Trade power, 100%. Yes, do I ever need that? Okay, what else were we looking at? Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. These guys. Truce with Vijayanagar till six, December of 1675. That's six years. So they wouldn't be able to join in for six years. And I would be basically on my own. I think I might be able to take them, though. How you guys feel about me these get these days? Aggressive expansion, a hundred. I got that here? No, 19. So, Ayutthaya is going to be a pissy vassal for probably a long time. Declared war and was at war, that'll go away pretty quickly. Uh, the, well, aggressive expansion will be will go away in 50 years completely. Alright, let's, let's get our, our Diplotech here. And then we'll call it an episode. That should knock off this. Good. 20. Nice. So our income is definitely definitely increasing very quickly. Uh, oh, one more thing I want to do before we go is get some stuff, some stuff built up. What I'm thinking is... Trade. Is anything in here gonna be do, do me any any real good stuff? Like one point, not really willing to spend a hundred gold on like one point, so none of those are gonna be any good. Naval force limit modifier, shipbuilding time, she'll prepare. <laughs> I mean, I if I if I want to get that this, I need to get this. But my navy is so important to the, me actually surviving at the moment. Ooh, and that's the- is that the second tier? Yeah, 100%. That's probably a really good thing. Uh, any of these gray areas? Or the- the darker green areas, I mean, are gonna be, um, upgrades. So, like, uh, that's a thousand. Oh, it's 200-something for those. Okay. All right, everybody, we're gonna leave this episode right here. If you have enjoyed it, please just drop me a like, leave me those comments right down below. And if you are interested in more Benjamin Magnus plays Europa Universalis 4, just subscribe to this channel, and I'll see you next time.